Hi everyone. We just finished reading a special book that had us looking and guessing from a part of the picture, trying to guess what that animal is, turning the page and seeing the whole animal. Remember we went through and we saw um, a sea urchin and we saw the claw of a crab and we saw the beak of a seagull and we saw the knot of a piece of driftwood. Well, we, we find lots of things down on the beach and we go down there. So today we're going to do something that we don't normally see washing up on the seashore like we were seeing on some of these, but um, we're going to make a little octopus. And remember I was saying the octopus can uh, change colors and camouflage themselves and they can move around in all different kinds of places because they don't really have bones like we do. It gives us a, a certain shape. So I brought some other pictures of octopuses that you could see. Look at this guy. Remember they can change colors and they can squeeze into little places also. So we have that octopus and then we have another picture of a bigger octopus and it shows you on the back here, it shows you how they look when they're swimming and the way they swim is they propel the water out and they go like that. And then here are some other pictures of octopuses here. And so um, we're going to make an octopus using a half of a toilet paper roll, a half of a piece of construction paper, and you can use any color you want. And then if you look at my little guy, he's red, and see these yellow circles on the bottom? Do you remember we talked about the suction cups that are on the bottom of starfish and also on the bottom of octopuses? I have a special kind of sticker that I'm going to use, but if you don't have these little stickers, you can just draw circles and practice making the letter O. So let's see how we go about making this guy. And do you remember? How many legs I said the octopus has? We have two legs. Horses, cows, dogs, cats, a lot of the other animals have four legs. Octopus, they have eight legs or eight tentacles. Eight of them, oh my goodness. So what we're going to have to do is take this piece of paper, which is a rectangle and we're going to put it around our cylinder and we're going to have to make eight legs with this thing. So first we're going to measure this because we're not going to use the whole piece. And by measuring it, I'm just taking it like this, wrapping it around until it overlaps. It means goes over. And I see that I have this much extra paper. So I'm going to fold that right there and then practicing my matching, I'm going to match this here, then crease it along the side and then I'm going to get rid of this extra piece of the rectangle. So I had one big rectangle and now I'm going to make, once I cut this I'm going to have two smaller rectangles. So this I can use for something else. I'm going to put that down here. Now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make eight legs, but I want them to be the same size and I want to make sure that it goes around here correctly. So once again, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. Um, just for speed today, but you could go ahead and glue your paper so you are ending up with this. 
And on this, just like I said before, you always do the small piece. And so in this, this time, the small piece is our tube. So I'm going to go ahead and put hot glue on this. And then I'm going to put it right up here at the edge. And I'm going to roll it. So it comes over. So it's on here now. Then I'm going to have a little flap that I overlapped on. So I'm going to make sure I put just a little bit of glue here. to seal that down. So now I have a construction cover colored tube or cylinder, and I'm going to cut, and this is good practice for cutting, I'm going to cut legs, and I'm going to just take where my scissors goes, and I'm just going to go this, like this, and make a straight line and I'm not going to go any farther. And then I just come and do another one. And I'm going to have to count to make sure I do eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I only need to make one more cut. And I could have made these legs a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We have a little piece left, so I'm going to just take him out. Now, does that octopus look like this octopus? No, we're going to practice curling what yeah so we're going to take like a pencil or a marker and you're going to put it down here and just like this holding it you're going to roll it up see how i did that and then watch what happens when i let go and i pull my marker out i have a curl and so I'm going to do that on all eight legs. And this is good practice for your fine murder skills. And you just roll it up to the top. And you know what? You can re-roll it and re-roll it and re-roll it. If you don't like the way it looks, you can roll it again. And also, the longer you have it, It'll, it'll start uncurling after a little while. So you just have to practice curling it a little bit more. And if you wanted to make longer tentacles, because you could actually go a little farther up into the body, up to where the tube is, you could have a grown-up help you with the rest of it if you've done the bottom part and had some practice cutting. And so if you go to a store and you can find these little circle stickers, you can use them for the suction cups. But if you don't, can't find them or you don't want to have thousands of little circle stickers with these, I think I'm going to use the green ones. This is also very fine um, motor skills. You would just put the little stickers, suction cups, on the legs like that. And if you don't have the little stickers to use, you can practice making O's. And if you want to do that, what you do, 
So make sure you have it down on the table so you can write, because it's kind of hard to do that if you're holding it up in the air. And you would just make O's, just like that. And that could be the little suction cup. So if you don't have the little stickers to use, practice making O's. And if your name was Oscar or Olivia, then you're already making the O's. Anyway, now you say, okay, so I have part of my octopus done, but what about his face or her face? So we have two little wiggly eyes. And this is another place where the grown up needs to use the um, hot glue gun if you are using a hot glue gun. If you're using the regular glue, then remember it's going to take a little while for the glue to, to dry. So you wouldn't be able to move your octopus around a lot right away. So you have your eyes. If you don't have wiggly eyes, you can go ahead and do your eyes yourself with like a marker or a crayon. And then we're going to give him a little mouth. And let's see, this guy, he kind of has a little squiggly mouth. So on this one, let's make him smile. So we're just going to make a nice little smile. And there's our little octopus. And so now he has a little friend. Thanks.